Greetings, my little chowder heads, and uh, it's back. <laughs> We're back to another replay, and this time I'm playing. Uh, this replay was sent to me by no other than Nikod. I featured some of his uh, some of his battles on this channel, and really love the way that he sends them with a description, with screenshots, so that I don't have to go on what replays and uh, I just love the way he sends the replays and if he sends it then it's 99% that it's an ace tanker so I have to like watch it I'm just kidding it's as soon as I saw the last screenshot which I'm not going to reveal I was like oh boy oh golly gee oh golly gee I have to get this one and uh, yeah a little announce, a little uh, update on the free-to-play account. If anybody, if anybody is still interested in that shit, I got to festive level 10. I just played the game, collected the boxes, discarded the old ones, uh, you know, broke them into shards, and get the, and you can get the tier five. So I think it was like five or six days of playing, and I got the to level 10. And I used all the discounts already. I'm gonna start a new line. The batch. I'm gonna go to the batch chat. And I used the tier 10 discount uh, on the Centurion Action X, which means I'm gonna pay around 4.4 or 4. Point something like that millions of credits. And I currently have 9.7 million, and it's super easy to grind. I still need, what, 70,000 experience to get to the tier 10, which is easy peasy because with festive level tier 10, I get a bonus on experience, I get a bonus on credits. I can even activate the boosters and it's really really easy to grind if you're a casual player that doesn't have a premium account it's super easy even if I wasn't in a clan even if you're not in the clan it's super easy uh, unless you're brain dead and you have a and you go afk every battle then that's gonna suck for you but other than that these missions uh, for the Excalibur and the Object 260 plus this the festive level so many bonuses. It's unreal it's So easy so easy to grind these days. Uh, I'm not even joking I'm gonna get the Centurion Action X like really fast because this tier 9 is awesome All right, we can go back to the replay <laughs> They kind of had to like fill fill it up somewhere because this is gonna be a long battle guys, so If you need to go to the bathroom, it's perfectly okay to go now if you need a hot chocolate or if you need something stiffer maybe a cognac whiskey I don't know what you guys prefer uh, I can tell you that I'm a whiskey fan um, not really a particular kind of brands because I'm not that picky <laughs> I'll just take anything I can get my hands on to be honest and grab a drink maybe something to eat a croissant? <laughs> I don't know, just... It's gonna take a little while because right now it's 2-7, okay? It's been three and a half minutes and our buddy here, Nico, is playing the IS-3-8, the infamous IS-3-A. The A stands for uh, absolute dominance on the battlefield. And he probably got them from loot boxes. Loot boxes will give you a lot of shit and a good chance to get the, you know, some tier 8 premiums. It's exactly like the same year. This is not the video to go ballistic on wargaming for this. I think all of the other more popular YouTubers have done this already. So I think it's like beating a dead horse. Uh, no, it's actually like killing a sick horse and burying it. And then digging him out again and then beating him with a stick again and then blowing it up with a dynamite this is how it feels if i was if i should go on a rant about the is3a it's a sick tank especially if you're top tier like like nico is here uh it's a tier 8 tier 7 game pretty standard but he's having a, a really shit team remember the video i said the world of tanks in two minutes there we go the insults and he's, he's doing two of those already. He said, team of fucking noobs. And Arty, you suck cock. So yeah, Arty, you suck cock. Basically, he's blaming the team and artillery for sucking. That's really nice. And Nico is not giving any 
attention to that those guys he's just he just got his first kill he killed the is3a there were two of those in the enemy team they really didn't perform that good and uh, these guys are coming in for nico hard and fast meanwhile he has 2k blocked it's like an is3 an upgraded is3 that's why the a stands for absolute dominance on the battlefield yes the a actually stands for that i've sent a letter to minsk and they said yes comrade a stands for absolute dominance on the battlefield so that's it pretty much now look at these guys there are four guys went in and from experience i know that four guys can easily take an uh, a tier 8 tank but the problem was the one shot went in like a fucking donkey, got shot, the comet, got killed by Nico. The E25 just tried to APCR him, but without of luck, you can still pen with the E25, trust me, I know. I have a lot of games in the E25, not a shame of that. And they could have easily, if somebody would track him, you know, you track him again, he's perma-tracked, you circle him, there were four guys for fuck's sake. They could have easily killed him, okay? But he killed two of those, now it's a 1 versus 2, it was a 1 versus 4. Kinda missed the shot. Well, RNG can be in his favor all the time, right? But in the meantime, he's still just auto-reloading all his shells. And there we go, there, that's a 1 on 1, there's still a Black Prince, he's probably gonna come around the corner. And look at the cap, look at the cap. The enemy, whoever was capping and stopped capping, you are stupid, to be honest. Just, you should have capped. You should have capped. I mean, only tier 4s left. I mean, why didn't you just cap? And then he goes into the cap circle again. They were probably, I'm 100% sure, they were crying like little bitches. No cap, kill all. I'm positive. There's this T29. This guy actually penned him with AP. So now he's on a one shot. Meanwhile, the GW Tiger was spotted. Probably running for his life back towards A3 or something like that. And he's gonna chew this T29 apart. If you empty your, all, of, all of your free shells, then you're basically an IS3, the, the regular one, the regular Josef Stalin free tank. Or if there's nobody else, you can just auto reload till the end, and then you have like 1.1k potential of damage within what six seconds because the first shot it starts counting after the first shot. So six seconds for that. Absolutely crazy what they did with this thing. Like I said, I'm not gonna discuss. We're not gonna bury that dead horse, revive it like a Frankenstein, like Doctor Frankenstein did, and then shoot it in the head again and then beat it with a stick no we're not gonna do that if you want to see rants about this tank you know where to find them other youtubers did it and about loot boxes actually i was kind of surprised i got one loot box on my free to play account because of the the bonus codes that if you activated those you know remember that and i got some gold in it i didn't get anything so you can uh, rest assured i didn't get any tier 8 the premium tanks but that would have been that would have been so epic and i got gold finally i have more than 500 gold now so i can demount equipment on my next line when i grind the tanks that's basically what i use gold for and there's the kv3 if this guy was capping he could have capped what four times right now and he's full hp which kind of kind of suggests that he was out of the game f for most of this battle right right and he's capping again <laughs> this guy this guy really loves capping now these shots in the side with heat they aren't good you know heat isn't that good uh, for if if a person is side scraping uh, the tracks are just gonna eat the heat shells away, but he doesn't have Nico doesn't have any choice because he went through all of his APCR on the previous targets. And boy, oh boy, does the auto <laughs> auto loading cannon comes handy in a situation like this. He got whacked twice. <laughs> He's a one shot now. Remember, he was full HP. 
If that was me in the KB3, I don't know, maybe I would try to track him first. He would unload all of his clips, I would still be alive, and then try to go on his side or something, I don't know, or, or use HE for that matter, two HE shells. I'm pretty sure you can get two sh two shots before he out before he clips you. And that KB3 could have won the game, and the GW Tiger could have easily moved on E1 because he had <laughs> more than enough time, more than enough time to relocate and shoot Nico in the ass, or just splash him, and then the KB3 would HE him. But there's no team play, you know. That's the that's the beauty, that's the bane of random games you expect the unexpected and then still be disappointed in the end <laughs> there we go there you go eight eight kills for nico 5.9 k of damage 4k blocked <laughs> he's gonna go hunt the artillery the only thing that that can happen right now is that uh, <laughs> he gets one shot by artillery. Maybe the artist is waiting around the corner and he can shotgun him. Now, if I was that arty, I would move to F1 and just shoot him. Uh, I don't think he's AFK, like Nico is trying to communicate in the chat, but still. But still. So I know that pretty much somebody is gonna pop into the comments and start to cry about the IS3A. Feel free to do it. Nobody's gonna judge you. And you can also cry about the loot boxes. I really don't care. You can cry as much as you want. I can pat you on the shoulder like... Pat, pat, pat. It's gonna be better. They released plans for 2019, so it's all good, boys. We're in good hands now. <laughs> we're, on good, we're, we're on a good path in 2019. Trust me. But honestly, if you really hate the game, I've seen uh, in the video uh, World of Tanks in 2 minutes, I've seen so many hateful comments towards Wargaming and the company itself. You can't really blame the developers. They get they get orders from the bosses even if they suggest, even if they get feedback. They really can't act on their own because it's a big company. They just can't do something, a change, and then just release it without the approval of at least like five or six bosses. So, But the amount of hatred in the comments was un overwhelming. I get your frustrations, but in the end, it's just a game. It's basically your decision. If you want to play it, play it. You can have fun, platoon with your buddies or something, get a derp tank, that helps me a lot. Derp tanks are uh, really cool to play. Or just uninstall and go play Fortnite or something. But what bothers me is I love this game. Uh, and I would hate to see it get killed off by stupid decisions. So, And I'm, a, I'm an optimist. I always hope for the best. So Wargaming, please. Please do something good. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just have to close my YouTube account because I'm shit at other games. <laughs> so please make this game better, more gaming. <laughs> Alright, there's the RT. There he is. <laughs> One shot in. Artillery missed. And uh, sayonara, motherfucker. <laughs> See you in the garage, bitch. 15-14, <laughs> One minute to spare and... All enemy vehicles destroyed. Let's check the post-game stats. And that's it. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. All right. It was obviously an ace tanker. Like, what the fuck did you expect? Something else from this kind of game? A Kolobanov, one versus five. Bradley Walters with, well, he did nine frags. Too bad, one more and he could have gotten the pools medal, but you can't have them all. And some other blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. He got... <sighs> he did... 6.4k of damage with 9 frags, 1900 base experience. The only ones that did the heavy lifting on the enemy team were the the T71 and the LTTB, which the light tanks did most of the job here. IS3As sucked dick and really, I don't know. And the GW Tiger only shot 3 times and doing splash damage twice. 
and did 153 damage. That must have been a really fun and exciting game. He probably didn't even move. So exciting, so exciting. Well, it, at least it was for Nico because he got 201k uh, of credits. Because obviously, I mean, I saw when he saw it, when he sent me the the pictures. I saw that he's running a premium account, so he got 201,000. That was a good game, Nico. Thanks for sending me. And to top it all off, the LTTB was a little bit salty in the end and sent and said to him, "Fuck you and this broken tank," because it's totally Nico's fault for this tank, right? Fuck you, this KV3. Well, yeah, that KV3 could have won, so fuck you, KV3. <laughs> and then he said, you should lose two times, and he didn't. And to just end it all, classy, fuck you. So, Merry Christmas to everybody, and have a great one. I'll see you soon, probably after Christmas. I don't know yet. Goodbye.